Let us take a look at this question. Compute the indicated products. Okay. Okay. This is a product of two two by two matrices. Okay. Let's try to multiply these two matrices. The process of multiplication is pretty simple. What we do is a row by column multiplication. This first row gets multiplied with the first column to give us the first element. The first row gets multiplied with the second column to give us the next element. Then second row gets multiplied with the first column and second row gets multiplied with the second column. Let's write the product of these two matrices over here. A, B gets multiplied. A times A plus B times B is what you get. Next, let's multiply this with this. A times minus B okay plus b times a is what i get over here right then minus b times a plus a times b is what i get over here this row gets multiplied with this minus b times minus b plus a times a these are the two these this this is the final product of this right simplify it further this is a square plus b square what is this this is minus ab plus ab which is zero minus ab plus ab which is zero this is b square plus a square or i can write it as a square plus b square that's the product of these two matrices given right that's the final answer for this part over here next let us take a look at this part what does it say compute the indicated product once again and the matrix the two matrices that we have what are the possible orders of these two matrices mind you for product of two matrices a and b the number of columns in this should be equal to the number of rows in this that is m by n is one of the possible orders this is p by q then m n and p should be equal this is important they should be equal right that is important so what do we have over here? This is a 3 by 1 matrix. This is a 1 by 3 matrix. Yes, 1 and 1 are equal. The final order that will obtain by multiplying these two matrices would be 3 by 3 as we know, right? So what do we have? The product would be equal to the product in the second part. What do we have is 1, 2, 3. This is one matrix. The other matrix is 2, 3, 4 and the product is obtained by multiplying the first row with the first column 1 times 2. Okay. The first row with the second column which is 1 times 3. The first row with the third column which is 1 times 4. Okay. This is not 1.2. This is 1 times 2. Okay. Similarly, the second row is obtained by multiplying the second row with the second column 2 times 2. 2 times 3. 2 times 4. Similarly, the third row gets multiplied with the first column, second column, third column to give us 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4 and the final product of these two matrices would be actually on simplification we will get this is 2, 3, 4, 2 times 2 is 4, 6, 8, 3 times 2 is 6, 9, 12. That is the final answer for this question, for this product over here. Is that all? Yes, that is all in this part. Let us multiply these matrices now. What is the order of this matrix? This is a 2 by 2 matrix. This is a 2 by 3 matrix. This is equal. Okay. And the final order of the matrices would be of the product would be 2 by 3. So, how do we multiply? Once again, process is very simple. What we'll do is multiply this row with this column. 1 times 1 plus this minus 2 times 2. This is the first row, first column element. Okay. Next, what do we have over here is first row, second column. This is 1 times 2 plus minus 2 times 3. What next? You are supposed to multiply this first row with this column, third column and get this element over here, which is 1 times 3 plus minus 2 times 1. Is that all? Yes. But this is just the first row. Let's find the second row. This 2, 3 gets multiplied with 1, 2. 2 times 1 plus 3 times 2. Okay. This 2, 3 gets multiplied with another 2, 3 over here. So 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3. 2, 3 gets multiplied with 2, 3. For this element, this 2, 3 gets multiplied with 3, 1. 2, 3, 2 into 3 and 3 into 1. 
that's a product so what is what do, what do we get over here on simplification this is 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 this is 2 minus 6 which is minus 4 this is 3 minus 2 which is 1 this is what we have this is 2 plus 6 which is 8 this is 4 plus 9 13 this is 6 plus 3 9 and yes that is the complete product of these two matrices given right this is the third part for this question over here let us take a look at fourth part of this question a product of two three by three meters okay let's take a look at this product how do we multiply these two matrices what we do is we simply multiply this first row with this first column then multiply this first row with the second column multiply this first row with the third column you'll get the complete first row for second row multiply second row with the first column second row with the second column second row with the third column to get the three terms for the third row we will have to multiply this row with this column this row with this column this row with this column that is what we are supposed to do let's do it okay so first row with the first column 2 3 4 2 times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus 4 times 3 is what I get observe carefully 2 times 1 3 times 0 4 times 3 for this element over here the first row gets multiplied with the second column this 2 gets multiplied with minus 3 this 3 gets multiplied with 2 and this 4 gets multiplied with 0 next this first row gets multiplied with this third column what do we have over here is let's take a look at this 2 times 5 3 times 4 4 times 5 this is what I have right what next this second row gets multiplied with the first column over here so 3 times 1 4 times 0 plus 5 times 3 okay this element over here is multiplied by obtaining the sec multi is obtained by multiplying the second row and the third second column which is 3 times minus 3 plus 4 times 2 4 times 2 and 5 times 0 this is what I will be having right and this one over here is, is obtained by multiplying this second row with the third column which is 3 times 5 plus 4 times 4 plus 5 times 5 this is what I have right that's what we have what about the last row third row gets multiplied with this column 4 times 1 5 0 6 3 4 times 1 plus 5 times 0 plus 6 times 3 this is what I have right what next this 4 5 6 gets multiplied with minus 3 4 times minus 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 6 times 0 this is what I have right and the third row gets multiplied with third column to give us this element which is 4 times 5 plus 5 times 4 plus 6 times 5 yeah right 4 5 6 4 5 6 4 5 6 3 4 5 3 4 5 3 4 5 2 3 4 let's just check that 2 3 4 and 2 3 4 right so we have written each term as product sum of product of elements and now let's simplify this further what is this this is 2 plus 0 plus 12 what is this this is 3 plus 0 plus 15 what is the last element of this first column this is 4 plus 0 plus 18 what about this this is minus 6 plus 6 plus 0 okay this is minus 9 plus 8 plus 0 then you have minus 12 plus 10 plus 0 okay what next you have 10 plus 12 plus 20 you have 15 plus 16 plus 25 that's what you have right what next this is 20 plus 20 plus 30 and now a final step of simplification remains and you get your final answer what is that this is 14 over here 2 plus 12 is 14 over here minus 6 plus 6 is 0 over here this is 10 12 20 42 over here 
this is 3 plus 15 which is 18 over here this is minus 1 this is 30 56 then you have 22 and minus 2 and what you have over is 70 that's the product of these two matrices as given right that's the final answer yes this is the final answer for this question over here next let us multiply these two matrices over here so what is the order of first matrix let's take a look at the order of first matrix this is a 3 by 2 matrix this is a 2 by 3 matrix 2 and 2 since they are equal so the final the product is possible first of all and yes the final order would be 3 by 3 let's multiply these two matrices together so what do we do is we multiply the first row with the first column which is 2 times 1 plus 1 times minus 1 and since we have multiplied many many matrices up till now I hope you are well aware of the process right so okay let me resolve this one also in proper detail 2 times 0 plus 1 times 2 then you have 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1 that's what we have right then 3 2 gets multiplied with this 3 times 1 plus 2 times minus 1 3 times 0 plus 2 times 2 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 this is what I'll be getting over here what about this element this row gets multiplied with this minus 1 times 1 plus 1 times minus 1 what next minus 1 times 0 plus 1 times 2 what next minus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 this is what I'll be getting right on simplification what does it convert to this is 2 minus 1 which is 1 this is 0 plus 2 which is 2 this is 2 plus 1 which is 3 okay simplified right this is 3 minus 2 which is 1 this is 0 plus 4 which is 4 this is 3 plus 2 which is 5 this is minus 1 minus 1 which becomes minus 2 this is 2 this is minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 and as you may observe carefully clearly that yes this is the final answer for this fifth part over here let's solve this one for indicated product there are two matrices given this is a 2 by 3 matrix this is a 3 by 2 matrix this 3 and 3 since they are equal the product is possible yes okay and the final order that will obtain is 2 by 2 okay so we'll obtain a 2 by 2 product let's try to obtain that 2 by 2 product okay what do we have over here for this element you need to multiply this first row with this first column right and this is 3 times 2 plus minus 1 times 1 plus 3 times 3 that's what you have right for this element over here the first row gets multiplied with the second column this is 3 times minus 3 plus minus 1 times 0 plus 3 times 1 that's what we have right okay what next the second row first column minus 1 gets multiplied with 2 plus 0 gets multiplied with 1 plus 2 gets multiplied with 3 this is what we will acquire next the second row second column gets multiplied minus 1 gets multiplied with minus 3 0 gets multiplied with 0 plus 2 gets multiplied with 1 this is what you obtain this is the 2 by 2 matrix that we are looking forward to right the product matrix what does this simplify to this is 6 minus 1 plus 9 this is minus 2 plus 0 plus 6 what about this this is minus 9 minus sorry plus 0 and plus 3 that's what you have right this is 3 plus 0 plus 2 the final product of the given two matrices would be 9 plus 6 15 minus 1 is 14 over here this is minus 6 this is 6 minus 2 which is 4 and 3 plus 2 is 5 that is the answer for this question over here as you can see clearly right that's a complete solution yes that's a complete solution of this part